Thanks for watching Glitch Data. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when I make new content. So you've just opened up Minecraft for the first time. You load into a new world, walk around a bit, punch a few trees, and then think, huh, I wish it was more interesting. Well, my friend, you're in luck, because with Forge you can make it exactly that. But what exactly is Forge? Well, Forge is a version of Minecraft that you can download, which lets you load mods into your Minecraft game. And then you can spawn dinosaurs to your heart's desire. So today, I'm going to show you exactly how to download it and give your Minecraft game that extra interesting you're looking for. Start by opening your preferred browser and going to files.minecraftforge.net. After accepting the privacy notice, you'll be greeted with this page, where you can see a sidebar with all the different versions of Forge you can download. Since I'm using Minecraft 1.16.5, I'll select that version in the 1.16 submenu. Once selected, you'll be taken to another page with a box in the middle that says Download Latest. However, if we go to the 1.16.4 page, you'll see that there are now two boxes. This is because, at the point of recording this video, Forge 1.16.5 is still in beta. It may be fully released by the time you're watching this video. Going back to the 1.16.5 page, click the button in the Download Latest box that says Installer. This will take you to an Add Focus page. Just wait 5 seconds and a Skip button should appear in the top right of the page. Clicking this will begin the download. There will be a warning that the file may not be safe. This is because jar files are sometimes used to carry malware and infect computers. But don't worry, Forge is perfectly safe. Once your file has downloaded, open your file manager and navigate to your downloads folder. I'm going to drag the file to the desktop for ease of use. Usually double clicking a .jar file will open the file's GUI, if it has one. If this doesn't work, there's one extra step that you'll need to do in order to open the file. Making sure the file is not selected, in a blank space, do Control, Shift and right click. A menu should pop up. In this menu, there will be a button that says either Open PowerShell window here or Open CMD window here. Click this button and it will open a command window. In this window, type java space hyphen jar space forge and hit tab. This will auto complete the file name and then hit enter. This should now open the forge installation window. Make sure that install client is selected and the path in this box is your app data folder for Minecraft. Press OK and it will start the installation process for forge. This may take a while depending on if it's your first time installing Forge or not. Once the installation is done, you can press OK and close the CMD window. You can also now delete the Forge jar file and this log file that it's created. If we now open the Minecraft launcher, you can see that Forge 1.16.5 is selected. When you press play, be sure to click this checkbox before you start. Once Minecraft has booted up, you should see that in the bottom left, there is some text that says Forge and then the version of Forge that you have installed. There is also a mods menu where you can see all the mods you currently have installed. Obviously there's nothing in here yet because we haven't downloaded any mods, so we'll do that now. 
Now we're going to download Optifine, which is a mod that lets you tweak lots of things about the graphics of Minecraft. If you want, I'll go more in depth about it in another video. Start by opening a new tab and going to optifine.net. Click on the download section and you'll see that when you select show all versions, that you have all the available versions of Optifine. Since we're using Forge 1.16.5, we want to download that Optifine version by clicking this download button here. Once again, you'll be redirected to an ad focus page and make sure not to click on anything that appears in this space. Just wait five seconds and hit skip. Finally, you'll be redirected again to a page with a download button that you can press to start the download. Once your file is downloaded, go to the start menu and type in percent, app data, percent, and hit enter. This will open your file explorer in the app data folder. This folder is where all the configurations for your different programs are stored. Somewhere in this folder will be another folder called .minecraft. Double click it and you should see a folder that looks something like this. Navigate to the folder called mods. In my mods folder, I have a folder called inactive, which won't be there for you. I just created it to hold all the mods that I'm not using. Open another file explorer window and go to your downloads folder. Move the optifine.jar file into the mods folder by either dragging it across or copying and pasting it. You can now close both file explorer windows and open Minecraft. If we now load into a single player world and go into the video settings, you can see that we have lots of extra settings that we didn't have before, like shaders, quality, performance and more. So there you have it folks, how to install Forge for Minecraft and load mods. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions about future videos, make sure to leave them in the comments as well. And as always, stay awesome and have a great day.